Hey, this is Netty with Rocket Pirate Sound. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate the lead from Fred again, Maria, We've Lost Dancing, and it sounds like this. This preset is going to be free to download with the link in the description, so be sure to check that out if you guys want to mess with this yourself. I also want to mention that Rocket Pirate Sound has a pack coming up at the end of the month called Icons on October 31st. Icons is a pack that has a bunch of sounds inspired by EDM icons. Check out the link in the description so you can join the waiting list so that you can unlock thousands of sounds just like this one. But without further ado, let's get into making the preset. So of course I do have this little backbeat just to support it a little bit. A bit of a Walmart version uh, of, the, of the original song, but uh, anyway. Let's turn off the uh, sidechain and open up a new blank serum preset. And yeah, initialize this. So I do have the uh, MIDI laid out for this. Obviously, if you're going to be making this, the MIDI is going to be kind of important that you get kind of the swing right and the you know timing right and stuff like that. But that aside, let's get into this. So the main thing that this is, is it's just like a sync lead. So it's like, it's just a classic, simple lead that, you know, I'm sure you've heard plenty of times. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the rate on the LFO one to four bars and then go to the warp mode or whatever uh, and put that to sync no window. So we get this. And then you can, you can kind of maybe hear the tone a little bit, kind of like starting to form in a, in how we want it. And so this is gonna, gonna be the kind of shape we're gonna be making. We're gonna drag this kind of over here and make like a bit of a shape like this. So it's a bit of a wacky shape, but we're gonna, we're gonna drag this onto the sink and then maybe drag it like roughly like here, something like this. You can kind of hear the tone like starting to form a bit um, and then we're going to go to unison and drag that up to 16 voices and turn down the detune a bit. Maybe we can even like drag this up just a bit more. Yeah, that's, there we go. That sounds good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get to LFO2. Also set this to four bars and we're going to make a shape that goes kind of like this. We're going to make like this like initial little dip or yeah, dip kind of thing. And we're going to bring it back up like this and do kind of the same thing and then bring this back up near the end. So like it's going it's to look like this kind of something, something like that. And so what we're going to map this to is the filter or actually hold on. Um, let me backtrack a bit here. So we're going to we're going to take this LFO two. We're going to go to envelope two. Um, and drag this kind of like this, and then drag envelope two onto the filter. So it's gonna sound like this. Right, so we get that plucky, plucky character. And then we're gonna take LFO two and drag that onto the K of this. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna, we're gonna at the beginning of these these like little peaks, we're gonna have like a longer decay. And then during these like little gaps, we're gonna have a shorter decay so that it's like a bit more like like short and stabby. like that so we can maybe even take this down like all the way like this kind of um kind of like kind of like this i think is the the shape that i had originally and then uh yeah that sounds good so let's go into envelope two zoom in a bit you can zoom in using like there's this little like bar at the side you can just like drag that up and down and then you can kind of go into like a further zoom turn up the attack a bit maybe turn up the release a bit on the, uh, or sorry, go to envelope one, turn up the release a bit. Yeah, and there we go. We've kind of got that like dry Fred again, Morea, we've lost dancing sound. Now it's time for the effects so that we can actually beef this up a little bit. So let's go to effects, go to compressor and put it on multiband and turn up the gain a bit. And then we'll just put that at the top here. Let's get a reverb and we're gonna absolutely drench this in reverb. So put that as, this at maybe like 56%, something like that. Sounds a little, a little washed right now. So we're gonna um, go to the high cut and turn that up a bit. Also low cut, turn that up a bit. And then narrow out the reverb a bit. Maybe this compressor is a bit much. Yeah, it's a bit much. It's kind of reducing the, the filter quality that we've kind of established. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the flanger, turn on the flanger, and uh, probably just leave it stock. 
Just get that like reverb sounding a bit washy. And that's sounding a bit quiet, so let's turn up the master. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe we can turn up the resonance on the filter a bit. Or uh, let's also turn down the cutoff so that it kind of, you know, does this. Um, and, right, and one, the one thing we forgot to do is actually map the envelope 2 to the uh, cutoff as well, so that we're gonna, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do this a bit. There we go. And let's also, as the last thing, map uh, LFO2 to the attack, and then turn this down a bit and turn it back up, so that it goes... Actually, no, I changed my mind. I don't think yeah, I don't think that's what I did in the last one. But yeah, there you go. Now let's play that in context. Yeah, super simple. Um, it's a pretty simple lead, but it's obviously like a very uh, particular like movement that it has and stuff like that. And um, I'm sure that in the actual like Fred again project that he has, it's like a lot more like surgical and like, you know, maybe odd, even like manually done. So like instead of like mapping this like stuff to like LFOs, he might have like gone in and like hand automated it. That's probably how I would do it if I was like in Fred again's position. But, you know, we're, we're kind of trying to put this in a, in a serum preset so that, you know, it's, a, it's nice and digestible and easy to like understand. So yeah, I hope you guys found this educational. Of course, the download is going to be in the description. So be sure to check that out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye.